The latest renovation at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo is open to the public. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon is live at Hubbard Orangutan Forest. Alex, uh, there's a lot of families out there, huh? Yeah, Waverly, a lot of families here. Say hi, guys. We're live on KETV. It's, it's really hot out here. They're looking for some shade. Uh, over my shoulder here, though, is uh, the first part of the newest exhibit where the orangutans are. It is an enclosed space. A uh, zookeeper here told me they heightened the ceiling, giving orangutans more room to roam around and enjoy the new space here. Behind me here, take a look around. We have a lot to look at. We have the uh, ruins here, which one of the officials here at the zoo told me that they uh, did a lot of research into making these ruins similar to what orangutans are used to in Southeast Asia and Indonesia. Also out here, if you've heard them hooting and hollering, are the Siamangs. They are not a monkey, but they are a gibbon native to Southeast Asia. You'll hear them really from any part of the zoo, but I guess they've had enough of the heat out here and have been seeing a lot of people. Um, you'll hear them at any second, but also out here, Waverly, a waterfall. It's just another one of the elements that the zoo has put together to reveal this exhibit after a four year renovation, also carried through the pandemic. Waverly, there's a lot more to look at inside here. They have a uh, orangutan from the Toledo Zoo, a 22 year old orangutan named Denga. And one thing I've also learned out here, Waverly, is if you say the word orangutan, Lose the G. It's not orangutan. Okay. It's just part of the effort and education they have out here at the Omaha yes. Henry Dorley Zoo. I know. Orangutan. Hey, it's something I've had to work on, too. <laughs> I need like a... Orangutan. Yes. Don't, don't say the G. All right. It's a little disrespectful out here. <laughs> I'll watch my words. Thanks, Alex.